What's going on you guys? It's Dare from aimcaveretreat.com. Um, I'm making this video and I'm making this YouTube channel to really kind of start being able to talk about some of these things because I don't think anyone's talking about um, this type of stuff about man caves. Uh, so one of the first questions I want to answer is what exactly makes a man cave a man cave? Um, what goes into it. If you're not familiar with some of the stuff that I've been writing about on mancaveretreat.com, you might be expecting me to say that um, a man cave is a place that you can display all your manly things, show how tough you are, um, show all the work you do with your hands, whatever. Um, that's not it. Um, and you'll see what I mean as I go through this list of what I think a man cave should be, what makes a man cave a man cave. The first thing that I think makes a man cave just that is it's a place that you can surround yourself with things that are important to you. Um, when you go into a man cave, you should see like you should see all the things that are important. If I walk into your man cave, um, I should have an idea of the things that are important to you. Um, the things you like to do, um, and I should get a sense of kind of your personality. Um, if I am a clean person and I like things being super organized, it's probably going to be a contemporary man cave. If I am more of a, you know, what I have is what I have, um, I like the natural beauty in things, I'm going to have a rustic man cave, and that's what I have. Um, so that's the first thing. Um, the next thing is a man cave is a place that you can display your collectibles. Just collectibles, hobbies, um, things you spend your time doing. Uh, this kind of plays into the a place to surround yourself what's important, what's important to you. Um, in my man cave, I have collectible, I collect you know, cards, I collect golf balls, I collect shot glasses. Um, I put a lot of effort into those things. So you bet that I want people to see, I, I'm going to proudly display them, and I, you should proudly display your stuff too. Um, if you're a golfer and you got a trophy, um, display it. And even if it's a participa participation trophy, <laughs> that's the only trophy I have, um, it's being displayed. Um, if, you're, if it's a discussion, you know, it starts a conversation about it. Um, when we put up, we put so much effort into stuff, um, and that's the type of things that should be in our man cave. Other people might be telling you that the things that should be in your man cave are like things that make you look manly, things you can buy. Um, like you go and you buy, um, like, uh, a whiskey barrel, uh, coffee table. You could do that. Or you could just go make something that is that you made and you're proud of. Because at the end of the day, if you're proud of it, that's all that matters. So the last thing that I want to talk about is something that to me is really important with man caves. And again, let me know what's important to you down below. Um, but it's a place that we can retreat to. And that's why um, I'm calling the website Man Cave Retreat and this channel Man Cave Retreat. Um, it's not a place we can, I, by retreat, I don't mean go hide. No one can find us. That's not what I mean. What I mean is it's a place that you can go, um, and there's no, you can let your guard down. Um, you can, you, you, you be you. Um, if you play guitars, hang your guitars on the wall. Um, like I said, if you golf, maybe you have golf flags up. Um, if you sew and you make awesome quilts, hang the quilt up. You put a bunch of effort into it. It's something you actually like to do. Put it on your wall. Um, you don't have to worry if the people you invite over to your man cave to entertain make fun of you for the quilt. They're probably not a person you want to be inviting to your man cave anyway. Um, at the end of the day, the most important part, and this is why I'm making this channel, um, the most important part is to be authentic to who you are. Uh, and that's exactly what a man cave should be. It's a, a room that you can go, 
and um, just be authentic. You don't have to put up any fronts. Um, I think too often we kind of get stuck in this, um, what people are telling us and what we should be showing, how tough we should be, um, you know, the things we should like to do. Uh, what's the point of doing a building and putting all this work into a man cave if what you end up showing isn't you? Uh, so I think that's kind of the end of my soapbox. I'm going to have a bunch of other videos coming, uh, talking about this type of thing. Um, it's more important to me that people are authentic with their man caves than people, you know, go and make a man cave that has a bar in it, that has the floors of, you know, a, a football field, or the floor is a green and there's a, like a sand trap over in the corner if they really like golfing. That's cool if that's, exa if that's really who you are and what you enjoy. Um, but if it's not for me, it's not for me. Um, so again, tell, tell me, give me topics you'd like to see in the comments. Um, I look forward to hearing from you all. Um, until next time, I've been Derek from mancaveretreat.com.